Hello, guys. How are you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I am a little tired, but I am okay. And you? How are you? The same. Tired, but everything is good. Exhausted, but everything's fine. And waiting for you. And ready to start. And the rest... Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And I'm cold and waiting for Christmas. <laughs> it's cold. The weather is cold today. How about the weather in your place? Okay, I guess we are going to start. Yesterday, we were talking about countable nouns and countable nouns. What else? There is, there are, some, any. With this practice, right? No problem with this. This is what we were practicing yesterday or last night. Some and any, right? Countable nouns and uncountable nouns, right? And we said or we practice any and some. We use any in questions, right? And there you have the first example. Do we need any eggs? Yes. Let's get some eggs. We use some in affirmative statements. Or, no, we don't need any eggs. So, we use any in questions, and we use any in negative statements or sentences. And we use some in affirmative statements or sentences. More examples. Do we need any breath? Yes. Let's get some breath. Or no, we don't need any breath. And we also practice count nouns and the use of a or an, an egg, and probably when do we use an help me with this when do we use an that's my question uh-huh when cuando comienza cuando la palabra comienza en Eso, 
A y A, A y O. vocales Ajá, la preparé. Y el A con consonante, o sea, B. pero en sí la expresión am se refiere a cuando se, uno se refiere a un objeto por ejemplo hay una manzana hay una botella de agua there is a water bottle there is a apple there is a, a cake But I am, I am talking to one object. Okay. No sé si se refería a la pregunta, pero... No, that, that's okay. That's correct. We use and before vowels, right? And there you have an egg. An elephant, an orange, an airplane, an igloo. What else? If next word begins with the vowel, we use an. And we use a. We, uh, if the next word begins with consonant. El an se le antepone a las vocales y el a se antepone a las consonantes. A sandwich. Mm -hmm. A desk, a door, mm -hmm. a banana, mm -hmm. a pineapple, a potato, a tomato. Yes. And then we have uncountable nouns. There you have bread, lemonade, rice, broccoli, lettuce, cabbage, and what else? Pasta, salt, water, coffee, juice, right? That's what we practice. And there you have this conversation. Let's read it. Let's read the conversation. Or let's see. It says complete the conversation with some or any. I'm going to read and you help me with the words. Okay, Carlos. Let's see. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Some. Okay, do we have any. any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy any mm. to buy some. We need to buy some because it is affirmative. We need to buy some. Oh, okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we need some onions too. Yes, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want. Any? I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Some celery. No, I don't want what is celery? Appeal. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. That's correct. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Perfect. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. What the fuck? <laughs>
awful. Okay. Uh, any word, new words, new expressions in the conversation? No. Mm -hmm. What about awful? What is awful? Es como, como horrible, como feo. Yeah, that's awful. Es peorativo con eso. That's awful. Está raro. That's awful. Mm -hmm. That's awful. Okay. Any comment or problem with some, any, a, uh, an, Y los otros que practicamos que eran extras, como el a lot, a little. No problem. In this case, give me examples. Countable nouns and countable nouns. Do you remember? Please tell me some examples. Let's begin with countable nouns. Give me some examples. Mention examples. Yeah. Apples. Mm. Eggs, apples. Bananas. Bananas. Strawberries. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess that's not a problem. This question, what do you have for breakfast? I'm going to this, okay, my breakfast is very easy. I eat pupusas for breakfast sometimes. I eat cereal for breakfast and I always, always drink coffee for breakfast. Sometimes I am doing coffee right now. Ah, I need coffee right now. I need coffee. Um I already finish five Usted cups. siempre tiene el vaso de café, teacher. Huh? <laughs> la... Usted siempre tiene el vaso de café a la par. <laughs> I finish. I finish. I need I need more coffee. Okay. So y nos presume. Nos presume Gabriel el café. Yeah. Can be on delivery. Um Okay, what do you what do you have for breakfast? Gabriela, what do you have for breakfast? <clears throat> um for my breakfast I eat coffee with milk and bread. Um, cereal. Es que es muy variado. <laughs> okay, cool. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. How to say plátano? Banana. Tam también. Or, or, uh -huh, or, or there is another word, plantain. Plantain. That's more specific for platanos, plantain. Plantain, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you have for breakfast, Victor? 
Uh, a breakfast beans with two egg <clears throat> and coffee to ba bananas fried. I don't have. I don't know how to say <laughs> platano frito. <laughs> Fried bananas. Fried bananas. And cheese. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh huh. More? Someone else? More volunteers? The question is what do you have for breakfast? Maria, Anna. My breakfast, perfect. Um, tendría a uh, banana fry, eh, one egg, eh, bread, coffee, cream, and cheese. <laughs> complete. Okay, complete <laughs> breakfast. Do you always? Eat complete breakfast. Every day. Ah, se me olvidó algo. Beans. Beans. <laughs> beans fried. <laughs> fried beans. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Next. What do you have for breakfast? Volunteers. Good night, teacher. Hello. Um, in my case, um, I have my breakfast. Eat two egg and three three bread. No, pan is a bread, verdad? Yeah. Okay. In this case, if you remember, bread is uncountable, right? You can say, I have some bread. But you can say, I have mm. some pieces of bread. Pieza de pan, some pieces of bread. Okay. Three pieces of pan. Bread. And, and bread and coffee. That's and, all. And coffee. Okay, cool. Nice. Next, thank you, Stephanie. Next, next breakfast. El lunes ir a San Salvador por si me quieren invitar a un desayuno. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to be in San Salvador. I I don't need much. I you, will go. <laughs> or you will come. I will go next Monday. Early in the morning. No more volunteers. Um, um teacher. Jesus. Uh-huh. What yes, do you have for um, my my breakfast is coffee with bread. Uy, al cerco. Capaz no, de no. Bre no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> just reading the chat. Okay. Uh -huh. only, only that. Jesus. Uh, my breakfast is coffee and with bread coffee and bread no more yes no more okay good coffee and bread uh-huh someone else so ya pago no me acerco yo dangerous Very dangerous. Okay, no more breakfast. Dangerous. Okay. 
Let's continue. Today, there you have fish for breakfast. This is awful. Fish for breakfast. Hmm. Quien come pescado de Okay. Sara and Kumiko, two volunteers. Sara and Kumiko. Two volunteers. Maria and Kenya. Okay. Kenya, you are Sara. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come on to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. 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 Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new. Thank you very much. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, volunteers. Mariana. No more. <laughs> Se quedó la manita arriba. Ah, sorry. Okay. Someone? Eh, Alison and Gabriela. Okay. Eh, yo comenzaría o la compañía. Yeah, uh, yes, Gabriela, you, you can start. <clears throat> Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good. Thank you very much. Next. Now, I'm going to read, okay? Just listen for intonation and pronunciation. It says, Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Mm -hmm. Next. No more volunteers. Come on, guys. Let's practice. Let's practice.
No. Okay, okay. In this case, we are going to practice this. Check this. Adverbs of frequency. Okay. Adverbs of frequency. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. I always eat breakfast. Okay. And there you have uh, here, you have a percentage. Always 100%, okay? It means every day. And never the opposite, okay? I always eat breakfast. I never drink soda. I usually drink chocolate. I often drink milk. I sometimes eat pupusas for breakfast. Teacher, una pregunta y of, often, ¿qué viene siendo? Mm, a menudo. Mm. Como decir usual. Okay. Um, in this case, if you notice, what is it? You have like <clears throat> always, right? Every day. <clears throat> and then usually. Eh, digamos, un grado menos, right? Always, usually. Okay. Lo tra se traduce o lo traduciríamos como usualmente. And then we have often, que es a menudo. And then we have sometimes, algunas veces. Hardly ever, casi nunca, o raras veces. And we have never. I'm going to show you another presentation, okay? I, I have here. Let me... Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Check this one. Hmm. And there you have, there is one, let's see, always, usually, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. In this case, rarely is um, instead of, I change it, right? Come on. Ya no le puse hardly ever. It's raras veces o en, poca, en ocasiones. Rarely, rarely. Okay. And there you have, but, oops, I'm going to do this. Okay. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. From top to bottom. 100%. 0%. And there are some examples. I always take a shower. Always. Always. Aunque esté haciendo frío. Did you take a shower today? I don't take a shower today. <laughs> Ajá, me lo imaginé. It's very cold. Ajá. So, Más rico uh, bañarse con el agua helada. Uh, yes. Por si estás todavía dormido, ahí desperté. I always take a shower. It means every day. I take a shower every day. I always take a shower. 
I usually have pupusas for breakfast. <clears throat> usually, I eat pupusas on weekdays. Weekdays. Como decimos en tres semana o los días de semana. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Weekdays, five days. Mm -hmm. On Saturdays and Sundays, I eat tamales de gallina. Uh -huh. Then, I often eat lunch at work. I often eat lunch at work. Or, I eat lunch at work on Mondays and Wednesdays, two days, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, el frío, yeah, yeah, mi garganta. Sometimes, I sometimes drink soda. I sometimes drink soda. Or, I drink soda on weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays, weekends. I rarely go to the movies, rarely go to the movies. Solo para mi cumpleaños, once a year. I go to the movies once a month. Once a month, okay? And I never drink alcohol. Or I don't drink alcohol. Zero. Right? There you have. Now, if you notice, and you have to pay attention to the position of the words. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. Check the position. You have there the subject, the adverb, and then you have the verb. Mm -hmm. So, the position is in between, in the middle. Subject, verb, in the middle, the adverb of frequency, right? In the second column, you have time expressions, every day, weekdays, Mondays and Wednesday, weekends, once a month. Those are expressions of time, expresiones de tiempo. Y estas van al final de la oración. I take a shower every day. I eat pupusas on weekends. I eat lunch at work on Mondays and Wednesday. I drink soda on weekends. I go to the movies once a month. At the end, okay? This is important, the position of the adverbs. The book or the manual presents only adverbs. Mm -hmm. Only adverbs. The position before the verb, antes del verbo. Okay? But there is something, okay, probably later. <clears throat> you see there the position? I often watch television after lunch. I often watch television after lunch. Now, how often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Jesus, how often do you watch TV? Um, sorry, uh, usually, usually. 
Okay. I usually. I usually. Watch TV. Watch TV. Yes. Okay. I usually watch TV. And this one, how often in the question means cuán a menudo. O como decimos que, sí, cuán a menudo. Cuán a menudo ves. But, no, but in Spanish. How do we say in Spanish? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo ves televisión? Así lo dicen. ¿Cuándo ves televisión? Pero la frecuencia en la pregunta, how often, cuán a menudo, how often do you watch TV? And then you say, oh, I always watch TV at night after my English class. Or I sometimes watch television in the afternoon. Another example. I never miss my English classes. I always participate in my English classes. Ojalá comprendan la idea. Ajá, uh -huh. so. La, la idea o la indirecta. <laughs> la idea, la idea, la idea. How often do you miss classes? How often do you miss classes? Let's see. Kimberly, how often do you miss classes? Mm -hmm. Lindsay, how often do you miss classes? Kenya, how often do you miss classes? I don't miss, miss my English class. Okay, so never. Mm -hmm. I never miss classes. Mm -hmm. Alison, how often do you miss classes? Um, I sometimes miss your classes. Ajá. Sorry. Ah, my classes. Yo no había preguntado por las mías. Well, Ajá. lo siento. Ok. Um, Jesus, how often do you miss class? Yo por los, los de la universidad, no las mías. ¿Cómo es la pregunta? En español, no he entendido todavía. Sorry. Um, ¿Cuán a menudo faltas a clase? How often do you miss um, classes? Um, cuando estudiaba, um, I never. Uh, how never do miss class? Ajá, uh -huh. never miss class. Ok, ok. Nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. I rarely miss uh, my English class. Okay, rarely. Good, good. Thank you. ¿Quién es ese gato? Ya le invertió al Zoom. I'm cat. Okay, tenía que... Soy yo, perdón, es que, es que no estoy de mi teléfono. <laughs> Lo siento. Y me salía la foto de mi novio, entonces tuve que cambiarlo. <laughs> All right. I am okay. Now pay attention to this. I am always the last in the bathroom. I am always the last in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain something. How often do you take a shower? How often do you take showers? Gabriela, how often do you take showers? I always take a shower in the morning. Always. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm, someone else. Vilma, how often do you take showers? Hello. Hi. Hi. How often do you take showers? Often. ¿Qué significa often? Juan, a menudo. How often do you take showers? Today in the morning or oh, when I don't work in the afternoon. ¿Me entendió? Cuando no trabajo en la tarde. <laughs> okay, yes, 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 okay. But the question is how often, cuán a menudo, siempre, algunas veces, otras veces no, y así se va para la U. Always, always. <laughs> ok. Eh, cuando hace mucho frío. Hay ah, toallitas. No, es broma, es broma. I don't know. Ya <laughs> no hizo reír la compañera. <laughs> Toallitas, ok. Buen tip. En, en Mr. Packers, how often, how often do you take showers? So all of this is busy. Ok. Something, oops, what happened here? We're going to, okay. This is something that you have to remember, right? Frequency, adverbs of frequency, okay? Go um, in front of the main verb. Como le decía, no? Van antes del verbo. But, pero, with the verb to be, the verb to be, am, is, are. Cuando se trata del verbo to be, o sea, el am, el is o el are, el adverbio de tiempo va después del verbo to be. Si observan acá, I am always nervous for exams. Siempre me pongo nervioso para los exámenes. I am always nervous for exams. Dad is never home on weekends. Papá nunca está en casa los fines de semana. Dad is never home on weekends. The dog is usually rude at strangers. El perro es usualmente bravo con extraños. Okay? So, in this case, the position is different. Los adverbios siempre van antes del verbo, a excepción del verbo to be. Cuando tenemos el verbo to be, el adverbio va después de este verbo. ¿Ok? Don't forget it. And unscramble the sentence. Put the words in the correct order. Mm -hmm. Alan never eats cheese. Okay. Alan never eats cheese. One ten for me. One coffee for you. Alan never eats cheese. Next. We never are along in the evening. Okay. Oh, mm. we are never. Aha, okay. aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We are the verb to be. We are never alone in the evening. Okay. We are never alone. Next. Tom and Sue. Usually play tennis on Mondays. Perfect. Tom and Sue usually play tennis on Mondays. 
one coffee for you. No, ya estaba tomando. Y no nos mandó el delivery. Ok. And that's it. That's it. Comments, questions. More practice. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the manual. Okay. Practice. Put the adverbs in the correct places. Then practice with the partner. So you have the adverbs in parentheses and you have to write the adverb in the correct position. The first one is an example. What do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay. Next. Hagámoslo de forma verbally. Well, I have coffee. Often, no. Well, I have of, often coffee, tea, and juice. 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 Mm. I often have. I often have. Coffee, yes. cereal, and juice. That's correct. I often have. Give me a second. Next. Did you ever eat breakfast? Okay. Do you ever? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? That's correct. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Thank you. Next. I have some time breakfast at me my desk. Mm. I sometimes. I sometimes. That's correct. My desk. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Good. Next. Do you usually? Rice, or do usually you? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Yes. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Next. I hardly ever. No, I have ever. Rice. I have never <laughs> have rice. Okay, no, I hardly ever have rice. That's correct. Thank you. Next practice, unscramble the sentences. Unscramble, eh, ordene las oraciones. Number one, I have breakfast song never weekends. The logical form, I never have breakfast on weekends. Okay, number two. Yeah, I hardly ever eat uh, snacks at work. Okay, perfect.
net. I sometimes eat for, no, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. That's correct. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Number four. Sorry. Por answer, I often have dinner with my family. That's correct. I often have dinner with my family. Good, perfect. Mm -hmm. Comments, question, clear. Is it clear? Okay. Attendance. Pay attention to your names, please. Let me see. Today is 18. No problems with the platform? Are you working? Wednesday 18. Alison, Rachel, Celis Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Andres Pacheco Calderon. Present. Thank you. Cristian Alexander Perez Portillo. No. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Artiaga Benítez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jesus. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martinez. Present teacher. Nice. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Present. Oh, thank you. And Lindsay Indira Lobo Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Maria Ana de Jesus Gonzalez. Hi, present teacher. Thank you. Maria Stephanie Orellana Flores. Present. Thank you. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejia. Okay, thank you. Mm, a veces no en el chat no no observo a veces porque estoy viendo la otra la otra pantalla. Entonces, pero cuando recuerdo que sí veo los nombres, por eso vuelvo a cerciorarme si están. 
pero a veces cuando estoy viendo mi otra pantalla no logro ver el chat. Okay. Eh, but thank you. Eh, Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. No. Tania, vamos a ver, voy a volver porque no recuerdo haber visto. Tania. De mi check, Rolando. Yeah. So she's not here. Verónica Magali Martínez. What's wrong with Veronica Magali? No ha estado. Y dice por acá que no responde llamadas. Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. I am here, coach. Thank you very Person. much. Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rolando me dice que no lo mencioné. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿Verdad que sí? Thank you, Gustavo. Ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Ok. No problems. I was asking you about your platform. No problem. With the exercises. The exams. Remember, la asistencia es importante, también el trabajo en la plataforma es muy importante, tiene que alcanzar el porcentaje para no reprobar. Ok, please, please. Y con la asistencia hay algunas personas que han faltado bastante. Ok, so pay attention. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check the, the percentage. Mm. Al menos acá. José Alexander Pacas. Ah, pero nunca ha faltado. Según acá aparece eh, porcentaje 60.94%. Yo desde la semana pasada la medio terminé porque hay un ejercicio que no lo he entendido, teacher, pero como aquí está en el teléfono, si me salgo de aquí para ver otra cosa, me cierra. No sé si se lo puedo mandar, porque no sé si se acuerda que yo hice una pregunta de un ejercicio, pero no era ese, ese ya lo había terminado. Oh. Pero si hay, perdón, yo me acepto. Vale, a Necesita café. Calientito. Um, el lunes llego por los hot cakes. Ok, hot case con cafecito ahí en, en metro. Eh, en, en, en esas ocasiones, bueno, creo que lo han hecho, ¿no? Lastimosamente, créanme, no he tenido chance para postear algo en el grupo que tienen. He eh, visto ahí, al menos hoy en la mañana les mandé dos presentaciones para que practiquen, que lo vean, la información. Eh, y si tienen dudas con algo, pregunten ahí al grupo, tal vez los compañeros pueden colaborar y ayudar, y si yo tengo el tiempo igual, eh, yo reviso y les puedo eh, colaborar también, eh, con dudas de la plataforma, alguna duda de algunas preguntas, 
y tal vez ahí los compañeros que vayan más adelante o adelantados les pueden eh, colaborar. Uh -huh. eh, creo que en la plataforma hay algunos contratiempos, errores y ese es el problema de la tecnología, ¿no? Que siempre hay algo que, 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 que no funciona como debería. Ahí dice, yo les puedo ayudar. Oh, ella ya terminó todas las lecciones. Perfect, Nancy. Ok. Solo pregunten, dice, y mandan el delivery a la par también y les ayuda. <ríe> ok, guys. Eh, more comments, more questions. Es que no sé si Nancy se recuerda que dice, hay un ejercicio que dice que, que la chica como que puede cantar y como que no puede cantar, algo así. Como hay un ejercicio de, de lo que puede hacer y lo que no puede hacer. En ese no sé, no sé por qué no me permite a mí poner la respuesta, porque sale la ilustración de, de que dice que, que está una, una mujer cantando y que el hombre se está tapando los oídos, entonces ella no puede cantar. Y yo le pongo she can sing. Y no me no, no me lo agarra. Eh, vea a veces con la plataforma. Eh... Ajá, si es negativa, pone el can, apóstrofe y la t, ¿verdad? Can't. Pero cerciora es que sea apóstrofe y no le esté poniendo una tilde. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Que la plataforma no, no reconozca la tilde como el apóstrofe. Eh, si es negativa, she can't sing. Uh, y ahí ahorita Nancy también está escribiendo. Eh, si es negativa, debería de ser así. Can, apóstrofe y la T. She can't, si es negativa. Si es afirmativa, bueno, pero si se está tapando los oídos es porque no puede, ¿no? Eh, entonces, she can't, de forma negativa. She can't sing. Uh -huh. Y... Tal vez a veces, no, pero según estaba viendo unas respuestas, tienen opciones, pueden ir con mayúsculas o minúsculas. Uh -huh. Pero es de seguir probando o, o, de, o mande la, ahí al grupo para ver cómo, cómo es que está, cómo la escribe y cómo debe de ir escrita. Ahí eh, Nancy, muy amable, les puede ayudar. Ella dice que ya las terminó. Ok, porque yo igual no las tengo ahorita a la mano. Veré si puedo, veré si puedo revisar mañana esa lección. Comments, more comments, more questions. Ok, no. So, thank you very much, guys, for your participation, for attending your class. Ok. Enjoy your dinner and have a very good night. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, le voy a decir. Say tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No, yo tomorrow le iba a decir. Morro, mi morro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good morning.